Back on Full Time Devils, Francis Maxwell here from TYT Sports. Yes, I do have braces or suspenders, whatever you want to call them, back in the UK on, because that's how we do it here in LA. Whatever. We move forward and we'll talk about this game coming up this weekend. Vital game. It looks like the Europa League might be dwindling away if we can turn it back around at Old Trafford. So be it. Nonetheless, tough task against the inform West Ham. Let's talk some tactics, lads. As always, defensive errors just continue to plague us this season. Um, Daily Blinn. In positional sense, he's struggling at the moment. I don't know whether it's tiredness. I don't know if he's uh, a little bit of fatigue is setting in. But Memphis Depay was scrutinised for his decision, right? I understand he has to do better. He needs to get goal side. But it's the, the, the positional sense or Manchester United's lack of which led up to that gap being formed, which happens so often in Manchester United's back line. It's so awful. I don't know how more people cannot see it. And it starts from midfielders, and then it makes Daily Blaine make those rash decisions. So everyone's at fault, trust me. So I'm going to highlight it. If you watch the goal, the Liverpool's first goal, which came from the penalty, Jordan Henderson picks up the ball in this area, right? Gets the ball fired into feet in this area. So already Fellaini, who is all over the gaff, literally, is in this area. He should be tucked inside. Him and Schneidlin should be playing cohesively together, somewhat like this, making it hard to split these gaps through the middle. But no, they're not sitting like that. They're all over the place. They're not working cohesively as a centre midfield pairing. So Fellaini's in this area. Schneidlin tucks back in here. And what happens is Jordan Henderson picks up the ball here, exactly where the likes of Pae will pick the ball up. Pae picks up, loves to pick up the ball in that gap. He's going to do it all day unless Manchester United sort this out. So, Deli Blin, yes, he's a little rash. He always steps out of that back line. And that's not the problem. Step out of the back line all you want. But you need to drag everyone else with you, mate. Because if you step forward rationally like you do, you leave that massive gap in behind because they don't, they're not playing offside because the rest of your teammate are behind you. So what ends up being, literally, this is not me over-exaggerating, this is Manchester United's line at that point. Deli Blin's up here. Rojo, Smalling and Varela are all there. This is just wide open, asking for anyone. You want to come in there, mate? No problem. You want to make this run? Okay, so what happens is Memphis Depay, who's not very good defensively, has to try it back. This run forms right through here. It's an easy gap. Memphis is caught wrong side. Penalty kick. Everyone yells, Memphis, you're an idiot. And maybe so. He made a poor decision defensively to try and go for the ball. But he's in a compromised situation at first because that gap is just so easy there. They're just inviting teams to play the ball and split Manchester United's defence. So what I propose is that in starting this lineup here, as you can tell from the start, I don't want to go through it every time, but you can tell with the lineup. the reason why I want to bring Schweinsteiger back in with Schneider is because Carrick for me, as you see with that error for the second goal, he's just not, his head is not focused for me at the moment. Schweinsteiger's ready. Bring him in there. Play him alongside Schneiderlin because this is what needs to happen for Manchester United to show this up. Defensively, we can't be consistently allowing Daley Blind to make these decisions. I like Daley Blind as a player. Trust me, I do. I think he's been one of the most consistent and he's had to play more minutes than anyone on that back line. But his decision making is rash at those situations. So we need to try and nullify that and make sure that he doesn't have to make that decision. And that is what uh, Dimitri Pai is going to try and do in there. He's going to float in this area. So for Schweinsteiger, for me, he needs to be playing as the defensive midfielder, simply anchoring this back line so that he can pick up the ball in here. And if he happens to press in this area, he needs to drag Schneiderlin in. They need to work up and down. If Schweinsteiger presses, Schneiderlin drops in. If, Schne if Schneiderlin presses, Schweinsteiger drops in. Yes, do give me an award because I have to say Schweinsteiger and Schneiderlin back to back. It's hard to do. That's all that has to be done. There's a little communication between them. And that's why I want Herrera as a number 10 with Mata being suspended. is because he's better at pressuring and forcing teams to go into a tighter angle, a more acute angle. Mata doesn't work hard enough defensively for me. Everyone needs to be accountable at this point in the season. The FA Cup... To many, it's a little trophy for Manchester United. It's the biggest thing you've got to play for alongside trying to get top four at the moment. So this is what Manchester United have to do going forward now. So what I'm going to say here is familiar to what I've said many a times before, and that's isolate centre-backs specifically by playing Martial up top. Now, I think that I do like what Rashford's done. I think he has to sit for the bench this game because I want to bring Lingard back in. And I love Herrera in the number 10 role. Why? Because Herrera goes beyond the centre-forwards and makes those runs which are hard to mark. If you watch Everton's first goal against West Ham, what happened? I'll talk you through it. And it happened again for the second goal, by the way. It happens a lot. Is you see the ball was... They were trying to find Lukaku in this area. They were trying to isolate Lukaku one-on-one -on -one with West Ham centre-back. So in doing so, how do you isolate that area? Well, you need to make sure that the defender wants to step into him and the striker has a place to go. So when a striker either wants it in defeat, he's thinking, get it in defeat so I can go here or so I can knock it back and then spin in. 
So what happens is, is West Ham like to usually play tight like this. They usually play four at the back who tuck in snug, make it hard to find those gaps. But Everton so smartly found the ball wide. It was Aaron Lennon who had the ball. And I think it was either Barkley or one of the midfielders who simply made this run. All he did was to make that run in there to act as a decoy. And what it did enough was allowed for West Ham sent, uh, right back to take two or three steps to his right. And they did not shift. They left this gap open. So what happened is Lukaku got the ball into feet. All he needed was one touch. He's very strong and fast, kind of like Martial. So utilize this to your own ability. And all he needed was two yards in the box and the ball was into the back of the net. The exact same thing happens for Aaron Lennon's goal. What do you see? Aaron Lennon gets the ball in this area. He gets it into feet. So he's automatically, this area seems to be nullified because West Ham do a good job of bringing back their midfielders. So rather than just flooding the fullback forward, which you will see United do to try and take this defender away, how do you get rid of this man? Oh yeah, that's right. You make a midfield runner do this, check right into this area so that breaks that brings that midfielder back out of position. And then Aaron Lennon was able to run right inside like Memphis Depay can do so well and find this gap in here to put the ball into the back of the net. It's that runner, that midfield runner who is acting as a decoy to take those defenders away, take those midfielders away and isolate players one-on-one. -on -one. That's what has to be done Manchester United need to be a little bit more volatile with their movement and make sure that they're trying to isolate those players and put them to the test. Because when West Ham came under that test from Everton, they didn't answer as well as they should have. Everton were able to get two goals, but then defensively gave away far too many chances to the talented players that West Ham have. So United need to be aware of that. Sure things up defensively like that. Make those midfield runners bypass the strikers, take defenders away and stretch them. And United may find some success. Thanks again for having me on. Always a pleasure. Hit me up on Twitter at Francis underscore Maxo. Come back again to TYT Sports over here and at Full Time Doubles. Right, this is the West Ham preview. We are in the quarterfinal of the FA Cup and despite what Paul Skull says, getting to Wembley and winning some silverware would be quite nice at the end of this terrible season, wouldn't it, Ian? Yes. Yes, Ian is but on the preview. I agree with Skull.